Welcome to another show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my subscribers. What's up? I hope you're having an awesome and magnificent Monday as opposed to a manic Monday. Um, well, judging by the title, hopefully you'll know what the video is about already. But even if you don't, let me just get into it so I can explain. What is propaganda? If you saw propaganda in your face, would you know what it is? If you heard it, would you know what it is? That's what we're going to discuss. Before I jump into that, make sure you subscribe. I see my videos are catching traction, but the subscribers are pretty low. I'm trying to raise it, raise it quickly, possibly. You know, make sure you hit the likes, of course. Drop me a comment if you feel like it. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And most of all, share it. What is propaganda? Let me give you an example. Black Panther versus Killmonger, right? Black Panther defeats Killmonger, secures his throne. Everybody's happy. Wait a minute. Didn't Killmonger defeat Black Panther first, though, fair and square? Didn't he throw him off that waterfall? Then what happened? Oh, then his mother and sister got the secret herb, revived him, and then held a coup, basically, to usurp the throne, where he then ends up killing Killmonger. So who's the bad guy? Well, let's put it in perspective. T'Challa is a king of Wakanda, fictional place actually, which is very rich in vibranium and therefore a very wealthy country. Killmonger, American, black, same lineage, is looking to help his people have a better stance or foothold in life goes over to Wakanda in an effort to see that happen. T'Challa wants no part of it. Now, you would think if you have the world's only source of vibranium, super rich, intelligent, have all the latest tech, maybe you'd want to see that happen, or maybe not, right? I don't know. But apparently T'Challa's not interested. But they make him out to be the good guy. What can I say? That's propaganda. Because in reality, that would be the perfect opportunity for T'Challa and Killmonger to come together and say, you know what? Uh, yeah, Killmonger, I think you have a point. About time we knock them folks down a peg and raise our people up. But that is not what happened. Anyhow. <clears throat> Here's another example. Let's say I have a party in my house, right? Having a party for a friend of mine I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, I invite a few of my other friends over. My friend who we're waiting for, he comes. He has his daughter with him. His daughter's about 24. She has a friend of hers who's about 24, 25, right? I have a friend who was there previously. Um... He asks if you can smoke in the house. I tell him no. You know, tell him to go outside. He goes outside. Comes back a little later or whatever. You know, eyes are red. You know what he was doing. Yeah. So, you know, chatting it up, whatever. Having a few drinks. Talking to everybody. Um, an associate comes by. I know him. Didn't invite him. Don't necessarily want him here. But me being hospitable, eh, let him in. Whatever. I step out to go speak to someone outside in private. A few minutes later, he's walking out, he's on his phone. I'm like, yo, you know, what's up, where you going? Oh, you know, somebody else is having something. I'm, I'm gonna go, you know, I'll go, I gotta go see somebody. Okay, you know, whatever. A few days later, I find out that this person is saying, oh, well, you know, this guy had some young chick over there telling me I couldn't smoke in the house. I don't know what that's about. I don't know this from nowhere. You know, but he got her right in the crib. Uh, context. 
So the first friend who asked to smoke in the house, when I called him over, I explained to him why he couldn't. I said, listen, the kids are here, but they're in their room sleeping, you know, it's been a long day. So, you know, please go outside. If they weren't there, then, you know, fine. Everybody's adults in here. You know, you go to the club, you catch contact in the back anyway. So, whatever. Fine. When I step out and he goes into the kitchen to smoke, my friend's daughter and her friend are there. Me and the friend who we have in the party for, we're outside talking to somebody else. Apparently, my friend's daughter is kind of, you know, meek and mild. She doesn't say anything. Her friend says to him, no, you can't smoke in here. And I guess she was pretty firm about it. So he got offended and left. Passed me outside. The host of the party, mind you, did not ask any questions. Yo, what's up with so-and-so inside? They tell me I could nothing. Just went. What is he doing now? Spreading propaganda. Oh, he got this young chick upstairs. She tell me I can't smoke in there like it's her place and all that, blah, blah. You know, people are asking, oh, so what's your relationship with such and such? Um, you know, you hitting that? What's going on? More context. When I called my friend over, of course, both of them heard, but she decided to say something. Why? I don't know. She, she probably felt like, I would have probably spazzed on the dude if I came inside and saw him smoking and nobody said anything to him. Although I did not give anybody any instructions. But there he is, outside, spreading propaganda. As I said, if you saw it or you heard it, would you know it? This is the age that we're in right now. The age of spin, as Dave Chappelle put it. Let me play this piece for you to give you an idea. And I'll tell you what you're looking at if you don't know. When you hear it, tell me if you don't know or you know what it is. Just a few seconds. I want you to rate these guys' attractiveness from 1 to 10. Zero. What about this guy? One. What about this guy? Zero. What about this guy? Zero. What about this guy? Zero. She gave that guy a zero? Uh, what do you rate yourself out of ten? Ten. <laughs> Yo, every time I see this, I crack up. Do you know what you just saw? Tell me if you know what it is. You probably heard it a lot in the past two years. What is it? It's called I'm the Prize. That's propaganda. I'm the prize, right? Women, that's what you say. I'm the prize, right? Me as a guy, these were all white guys. I all thought that they deserved a number above one, five, six. She gave them zeros and one, but she's a 10. Excuse me? Okay. That's low level stuff. This is the deep water. You know, I have to take you down the stairs in the pool first, walk you over to, I'm not just going to throw you in the deep water. I got to take you over there and, you know, hold you by the hand. This is the deep water when you hear propaganda. And you have to be able to realize it because it can affect you and the decisions that you make. This is why I'm making this video. This interview was months ago. What just happened this weekend might well be a result of this initial interview listen how do you guys handle things when they're a, a big news item that's controversial 
like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The New York Post. Yeah, we had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like, you should be on high alert. There was, the, we, we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So our protocol is different from Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said, you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What, what we do is we have, um, if something is reported to us as potentially um, misinformation, important misinformation, we, we also have this third party fact checking program because we don't want to be deciding what's true and false. And for the, I think it was five or seven, seven days when it was basically being um, being determined whether it was false, um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it, you could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution is decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less. So fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely by what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 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 meaningful. But I mean, but basically, a uh... so it's meaningful, and what I take that as is the number of people that did not have the ability to see this could have possibly swayed the outcome of the elections. So what is that called? It's propaganda, and furthermore, it's also election tampering. Right? How is it when the Hillary Clinton and Biden are running, all of a sudden, there's Russian collusion, there's Russians messing with the elections. Where is that coming from? It's propaganda. Oh, I lost because of the Russians. They exposed my emails. Um, those emails were pretty damning by themselves, Hillary. Let's, just, let's keep it a thousand with you. You, you don't even want to go there. But that's what propaganda is. Now, the significance of the laptop is this. Apparently, the son, Hunter, has been doing these deals overseas with foreign governments specifically. Whatever he is making, allegedly there is proof within that laptop that a percentage of that goes to Sleepy Creepy Joe. That's the significance. So, is that something that you need to know to make an informed decision before you vote for president? I think so. But, then again, like I always say, I think everybody just assumes the American public is dumb. So, you know, whatever. We'll put some smoke over here, throw a little trash on top of it. You won't know what that is. Next person, we're going to expose them fully. You see them for what they are. You're like, oh, nah, not voting for that guy. I'm going to vote for this guy. But it works, doesn't it? I mean, how many people talked about the Joe Biden crime bill and the many people that he was responsible for putting inside in prison? People still voted for him. So what is that? Willful ignorance, I guess? But you should know what propaganda is. 99% of the time, it's not going to be good. It's going to be an underhanded way to get you to think in one way or another. Now, let's be honest. It could be from either side. It could be, I don't play politics left and right. I, I don't play that red and blue stuff. But it could be from any side. And based on my story, it could be from a person. 
So you have to be able to spot it when you see it and when you hear it. Anyways, that's my time. I hope that people look into the Twitter files and what Elon Musk is talking about. Apparently the MSNBCs, CBSs, ABCs, they're not very interested why these places are all ultra left wing, right? They don't care. You know, the fact that the American public was allegedly swindled out of a vote, you know, people took away people's voices and platforms because of alleged misinformation by the FBI, you know, which is the worst part of it, which is supposed to be, you know, the higher echelons of policing in the country, FBI, DEA, ATF, you know. But what can you do? It's done. Now it's time to unearth it and bring it to light. That's how I feel. Anyways, make sure you subscribe, number one. Whoever you share it to, encourage them to subscribe as well. You know, make sure you like the video. Of course, you're viewing it. Make sure you like it. Just, you know, hit that bell. Hit that thumbs up. Um, I'd really appreciate that. And, um, of course, drop me a comment if you feel like it. You know, I usually answer all my comments within like a day of them posting. Or if it's early, you know, Eastern Standard Time, I usually answer it early, so do that. Um, in my videos here and there, I'll probably post like support links. So always check the description. I usually write what the video is about anyways in the description. If you want to know what it's about, um, yeah, check it out. All right. Until next time. Peace.